You hear that, rat? It's the ice cream truck! Yeah, I got you something too. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. We're going to be on tour in Vegas, Salt Lake, Denver, and more later this month. Tickets are almost gone. You can get yours now at rentlinklive.com. Mm hmm. Uh, confession time. I will okay. say that the ice cream truck jingle actually gives me anxiety. <laughs> of course uh, it does. Because you got to run and scramble and catch him before he gets away. And then when you get up to the window, there's so many options. I just hate feeling like. I'm not choosing the best ice cream, okay. but I've got to do it because there's other people in line. Uh, so this taste test is basically trying to make ice cream trucks fun again for me. Well, I hope that happens. It's time for We're gonna take ice cream from the old time truck. We're gonna taste till we can't no more. We're gonna try the treats and pick the best. It's a Big ice cream truck taste test. Oh, look at here. We've got our very own two dimensional ice cream truck. What's your name, Mr. Ice Cream Truck Driver? Josh, what's your name? Rhett. Link. Link. Howdy. So you're, oh, you're not a character. You're just Josh. Yeah, Josh six weeks ago. That's not what your mustache looks like. <laughs> Need yeah, I remind yeah. you? In my you mind, it did. I don't want to do a side by side, but let's see a side by side. Okay, so let's look at this menu. We have narrowed it down to the 10 most popular, best-selling, and iconic ice cream truck ice creams available. Including Bomb Pop. Choco Taco. Fudge Sickle. Chocolate Chip Cookie Sandwich. Drumstick. Strawberry Shortcake. Snow Cone. Orange Cream Sickle. Ice Cream Sandwich. And SpongeBob Popsicle. Okay, we're gonna taste five today and then five tomorrow and give them all a score of one to 10. But it's not just about our ratings. You also have a say in this. We open up the vote to you via an online mythical survey, so your ratings will also impact each ice cream's final score. And if you wanna be a part of these kind of surveys, we do them quite often. You need to be following us on the socials. Uh -huh. Okay, now whichever ice cream scores the highest will be forever known as the greatest ice cream truck ice cream of all time and will receive the golden cone. The golden cone, let's get our lick on. Round one. All right, Rhett, since you're creamier than me, you get to pick the first ice cream we try. You know, how about something that's not trying too hard to get okay. started, the yep. fudge sickle. Oh, okay. You kids want two fudge sickles? Yeah, we do. And yes, typ sir. Typically, we'd walk over there, but maybe you could walk them over here since, I mean, we're seated and everything. Oh no, I put the work in work release. Don't want to skimp on the job. This is a full service ice cream man. All right, so blue ribbon fudge bar, still in the container so you know that well, this one was actually unsealed. That makes me. He does all the work for you. That makes me a Typically, little. Typically, kids don't trust an ice cream out. man that has opened the packaging, but when it's Josh, it's okay. Especially if you don't see when he opened the packaging. Now, it's got a little ice residue on it. That's, I don't love that. But I, it, you don't love it, but it just lets you know it's fresh. Now, I'm gonna be donkey lipping a bunch of this stuff because I don't like to bite cold yeah, things. Yeah, so Link is at a disadvantage because he doesn't bite all the things that need to be bitten to be judged. But it's easily donkey lipped, which I like. Well, I'm a lover, not a hater, but I'm a biter, not a licker. Mmm, classic fudge sickle taste. My it's, nanny used to keep these in her freezer at home, man. It was like, it was like she had like a little ice cream truck up there at the top of the freezer. Refrigerator. I think she just had a box. You got her. <laughs> You've exposed my nanny. How does that make you feel? Now, I don't think, now first of all, those of you who've already complained about how we don't have your favorite ice cream truck item, mm. uh, we picked the ones that are the most iconic and the most uh, popular. And I gotta say, all these are going to be good. None of them are gonna be bad, mm -hmm. right? As this one is demonstrating. But you know what? It's, it's just it's a little one, bit it's, boring. It's one dimensional. It does what it does well. Um, you know what's not boring? President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Did you know that his wife, Mamie, loved fudge? <laughs> we like to work in a little history lessons here at the ice cream truck. I did not oh, know that. So you have facts? Oh, I got all the facts. She even had her own recipe called Mamie's Million Dollar Fudge. You got facts, I've got a score. I'm gonna give, the, I'm gonna give this a, a solid five. I think that they're all gonna be at least a little bit good, so mm. I'm giving it a six. Mm. Hey, all you right. guys wanna know what the Mythical Beasts yeah. gave this? Uh-huh. They also gave it a six. All right. So that brings our score to a 17. Wow. Mm. Uh, great minds think alike, guys. Round two. I'm gonna pick the Bomb Pop 
mm. AKA the Rocket Pop. All right. Are you being influenced by my choice of clothing today, Link? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Now, I'm not gonna let the fact that I wore a shirt with this item on it influence my voting. I'm impartial. I've never had one of these. Um, I it's think that this is, gonna, this is gonna require ice biting. Yep, this is definitely an ice biter, and you gotta bite all three parts. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's pretty, it gives, it gives pretty easy. But then you got a corn on the cob it. That's cherry. Are you kids ready for another fun fact? Of course we are. Did you know that in 1999, Stephen Labaton of the New York Times used bombpop.com as an example of why children need to be protected from privacy on the internet? Any child that wanted a free Game Boy just had to fill out all their personal information. Somehow I got my hands on that list. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact. Wow, I think the middle that's a flavor real fun fact. is lemon. Oh, and what's that? What's that blue? It's blue flavor. Blue. They all taste like non-fruit. First of all, my guess would have been that this is all the same flavor with just food coloring. It's not. But it's distinctly different colors. So you, you go on so a you taste triple journey. Your score. I'm pleasantly surprised with the consistency. It's not too icy, which is why I never ordered it. It gives. It gives. And it gives Mom and gives. Mom pops keep giving kids. It's like a loving mom. Uh, all that said, it's not great. I don't love it. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't taste great. It yeah. tastes super artificial. It's a little flashy. I mean, that's why I got it on the shirt. It's like, hey, look at me. I'm three different colors. Celebrate independence. Um, what are you gonna give it? It's trying a little too hard. I'm gonna. I'm taking it all the way down to a four. I'm going lower. Two. What? I and don't the like MBs. It, that's what I'm. I'm going from mythical beasts to MBs because I'm gonna be saying it a lot. They gave it a five. So that right. brings right in the, middle. the score to 11. We're vibing. Okay. Round three. Let's go for the drumstick. Okay. Two drummies coming up. I like how the picture already has a bite taken out of it. Like, I want one where a bite's already been taken yeah, out. Yeah, you gotta know how to eat it. Now, oh, a lot of nuts. I got loose nuts. Uh, this brings back a lot of memories for me because my mom stocked the fridge with these. I mean, well, the freezer. <laughs> She tried. She started with the fridge, and then she realized that they wouldn't last. Uh, do you remember coming to my house and getting these? Vaguely, um, but I probably never selected one because, as a child, as much as I love peanut butter, I did not like nuts on anything. Really? You know, I had lots of issues as a kid. That's the least of my worries. Um, what one of the? And I think I will like this now because um, I like Thai food. And there's nuts on Thai food. Everything. The problem with this is that all of the nuts from the side they fell off. have been abrased off into the package. I don't think you can judge all drumsticks, but you're, See, now you're knocking more nuts off, off, man. If you try to dink it, you're losing nuts. So go go from the top. Yeah. Hey kids. Huh? Do you know that the drumstick was invented in 1928 by factory worker I.C. Parker when he dropped a vanilla ice cream cone into a vat of chocolate and then set it onto a table full of peanuts? That happened in that order? No, that's a lie. It's called a convenient corporate myth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, that ain't true, man. They're sticking to it. Um, you get the nuts in the first few bites, it's, then they're gone. Well, you cannot judge it by that because the one in the picture has nuts all the way down, and I've had nuts all the way down <laughs> before. The ones that my mama gave me had nuts all the way down, and so don't judge bomb, don't judge uh, drumsticks by this drumstick. I love the combination of flavors. I love the fact that I'm eating an ice cream cone. I love the fact that there's a cone. And then the best part of this is when you get down to the end, you got this little thing that's got straight up chocolate in it. Really? Sounds like you're gonna rate this pretty highly. It does. It's got a lot of variety going for it. It's a great taste. The chocolate's really high quality too. All right, go ahead and tell me the problems you have with it. You know, I might give this a solid seven. I actually thought it would be better than <laughs> it is in terms of taste. I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna give it a nine. I can imagine Whoa. I'm gonna imagine that it could be something could be better, but I can't imagine many things being better. And nine. the MBs gave it a seven, which brings the total to twenty-three. Mm. Pretty good showing. Round four. I would like to order an orange cream sickle. That looks delightful. Oh, oh creamy dreamies. Like that. Again, it's already bitten, so you can see it's amazing. He always has in there. He always has two of what we need already open. So, I'll take this thing out. Mm. And you, you can see the the cream peeking out of the bottom down there. Mine's That's more than peeking. Oh, yeah, this is dumping. 
Um, do you get what you got? What you got for these? Did you know that Orange Creamsicle is my nickname in high school, but I'm not allowed to talk about why? I don't know if you're allowed to make those kind of jokes, Josh. He's stealing your thunder. Now let me you? say, whoops. What I was about to say Did was. Did that fall out of your mouth? I wasn't looking. <clears throat> yep. Nope. Yes. What, what, what's the better answer? <laughs> <laughs> um, it took me that far to get to the ice cream. Like that first bite was all orange. This is hard to bite because it is really hard. It's not like the fudgesicle, which I could donkey lip. This is undonkey lippable. Yeah, but the taste, once you get that, down to the ice cream part, the taste of the orange and the ice cream, it is a dream. Is it? Does it get better? I really like this combination. I'm having trouble with the consistency. Again, the, the icier it is, um, you're just gonna lose people who have uh, teeth temperature sensitivities, which I am representing proudly today. You know, we will hide no longer. Our teeth are sensitive and we're proud. And we don't order these because they're not they're not the right consistency. Well, at least you feel strongly about it. I'm a little torn because I do like the taste. What are you what are you gonna give it though? I'm gonna give it a four. I like the taste, but I don't like it as much as other things that I've tasted. I'm going to give it a five. So the MBs gave it a six, which brings the total to a fifteen. Better than the bomb pop. It's definitely better than a bomb pop. Round, Round five. five. Okay, for our last item, I am going to select the SpongeBob Popsicle. That's an exciting one. Now, I've never selected one of these branded items. Yeah, and um, that is a good point. Oh my gosh, look, is that SpongeBob? What? <laughs> Hold on, I lost an eye. Oh gosh. Is there an is eye he in, in there? there? Josh, did you eat the eye? No. So uh, SpongeBob is representing all of the cartoon and iconic kids character based ice cream. Right, because they're basically all made could in a be similar, Mario. similar fashion. Uh, could be Tweety Bird. I never knew what these were. It, it, well, I'm about to find out. Ooh, undonkey lippable. No, it's not. It's not ice, it's ice cream. Just break it off. It's not, it's not the same consistency. What is the eyeball made out of? I think it's an actual eyeball. It, oh gosh, it tastes like gum. It is gum. But. It's freaking gum. Who wants to eat gum Bud in the Bob, middle of their ice cream dining experience? But I just swallowed it. You did? <laughs> I mean, it's gum, it's unchewable gum. How does one go about this? Like, you get the gum early. How does one go about this, Mr. Ice Cream Man? You Not my job to tell it. you, it's just my job to watch you while you eat. Hey, speaking of SpongeBob, did you know that he was originally called SpongeBoy, but that name was copyrighted by a mop? Is that right? Well, it's probably copyrighted by the person who invented it. I sure the hope mop. it's right. Not the actual mop. No, the mop was it was sentient. It could love. <laughs> I think what what you need to do is you got to uh, chipmunk the gum in your and cheek and let it melt. I ate it while it was still icy. And then you eat more of the ice cream. I do it right for the second one, but I don't have one. Can you say what flavor this is? I, I can't SpongeBob. place it. SpongeBob. I can't. I think it's it's not lemon. It's like it could be though. It's a it's a mild fruity. Uh, Nondescript fruit. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't. There's nothing about it. It's not even a good rendering of SpongeBob. The gum is horrible as well. I'm giving this a. This is all hype. One. No delivery. I'm giving it a two. Yeah. And the MBs gave it a three. Good. For a total score of six. Wow, that's not good. And there you have it. The drumstick is at this point the highest rated ice cream according to our test, but. It could all change yes. on Wednesday, so make sure you come back. We're gonna taste the other five and determine the overall winner. And head over to our Instagram to see one of a kind Rhett and Link ice cream bars. Seriously? Thank yeah. you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Ashley. And I'm Haley. And we're, we're about to go on vacation, vacation from, from our job, job making, making ice cream sandwiches, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. What, you think that's true? Watch you out think for it's true? Yeah, I think it's true. Click the top link to watch us rate creepy ice cream trucks and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Hungry for some thought-provoking conversation? Feast on the latest episodes of Ear Biscuits. Available now on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get podcasts.